this is Graham. Please leave a message after the beep. Hey, Graham. This is Riley from Scope Film School. We noticed that you haven't confirmed your decision to attend Scope. We just need you to fill out a few FAFSA forms and... Good evening, Mr. Chapman. College Decision Day is just around the corner, and we haven't heard back from you regarding your commitment to attend Clearwater Technical Institute. What's up? Why are, you, why are you being so angsty? You haven't talked to hardly anyone tonight. I know. I, I stress. <laughs> about, about what? Still trying to make a college decision? No, it's um... Okay, um... I just don't think my, my plans are realistic, you know? Filmmaking okay. isn't something a small town Michigan boy usually succeeds at. I, I don't know. I'm just scared, I guess. Filmmaking's all I've wanted to do since I was a young kid, and you know, I just feel like I'm giving up on my dreams, and it's like I'm over in an instant. I don't know, I guess I'm just scared. You know, my dad always used to tell me that in life you should do what you love, then money will find a way. You're passionate about filmmaking, Graham. You'll make it work. You know, my dad always used to tell me that sometimes you need to make sacrifices. And I, I think you're right. No, no one really makes money doing that around here. I just, I don't know if you or anyone really would be able to make it work. Yeah, you're right. Better advice than my dad ever gave me. My dad was a very consistent man, and I am always right, Graham. You know, me and you have been wrong a number of times, and that number is zero. Mm. Except for the time with the vodka and potatoes. No, okay, okay. No. It said it said to boil for three hours in a well-ventilated area. I did nothing wrong. Your four fiesta doesn't count as well-ventilated. That is fair. Um, but hey, speaking of Fiesta Vodka, I'm gonna go join the fun people. Wanna come? Uh, no, you don't. No, I don't drink. Yes, I do. <sighs> well, as they always say, a spoonful of sugar helps the vodka go down. Both of which we have. No one Yellow says that. shot! Yeah! Hey, is it okay if I sit here? Thanks for helping me move in. What? Oh yeah, no, it's no problem. Okay. It is no problem, isn't it? What? I, uh, your phone is ringing. Is it? Yeah, it is, in fact. So, uh, are you in Miss Smith's class too? Yeah.
Let me get that for you. Thanks. Yeah, that's the least I can do. You're not wrong. What What does that mean? Well, the room's nice. Who texted me? I'm so glad I was able to avoid the whole dropping everything while surrounded by a crowd of onlookers cliche. That would have been extremely awkward. My keys were back in the room. Carter. Dude. Well, uh, good luck with the whole uh, college life thing, friend. I have a thing with a thing, so I'll see you later. Come on, man. At least gonna... it wasn't the boxes. So, so is there, there's anything else I can help you with, please just, uh, just let me know. Hey, hey. Sorry. <laughs> let me help you with that. Thanks. It's just one cliche after another in here. I'm sorry? Nothing. Um, you're the RA, right? Yes, sir. Um, I may have locked my uh, keys in my room. Could you help me unlock yeah, my door? Yeah, uh, it's possible. Door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, you'll just have to pay me back sometime. <laughs> well, I should warn you, I am a college student, so the most I could give you was 35 cents in a macaroni necklace. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. I'm Chelsea, by the way. Uh, Graham. Chelsea Lewis. Chapman. <laughs> if I have another cliche college movie moment, I'm going to fire my writer. What? Nothing. Uh, see you around, Chelsea. Yeah, you too. I'm gonna close my door now. Yeah. Good plan. <laughs> for this bullshit. Never mind. Let's get started. This is a zero. This is a one. I have made a huge, huge mistake. mistake. Soon. I think you just trapped him in your room. I did. I did do that. Hey, whoa. Good to see you, Graham. Nice hanging out with you. So what's up? So I'm uh, shooting this short film over winter break, 
And I was just wondering if maybe you would want to act in it. Oh, for sure. I mean, I wasn't really planning on heading home anyway. I think you're getting a call. I'll ask if I will answer it later. So, what's this film you want to do? Because I have camera number two. Hey, Taryn, how you doing, bud? I'm great. Today was the first day of school. Oh, sounds fun. It was pretty good. I had fun, made a few new friends, and I signed up to the audition for the musical again. It won't be the same without you there, though. Yeah, well, it sounds like you're pretty busy already. Yeah, I am. Hey, so when you come back to Clearwater, can we hang out? Oh, for sure, dude. I'm actually going to Clearwater Tech, which is only like 10 minutes away. So, I mean, I can come and hang out anytime. Uh, how's winter break? That would be awesome. All right, cool. I got to get back to my homework, but uh, I'll text you later, all right? Cool. All right, guys, let's get started. Graham, you're going to start off camera. And you're gonna cross into Kyle to read your lines. I'm sick of your shit. Excuse you? No, that's a line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, how long is this gonna be? I'm cold. As long as it takes, Kyle. You know what would warm me up? Nice bit of whiskey. But there's Mountain Dew in this flask, Chelsea. Mountain Dew! I got him to quit drinking and now he's salty with me. It's an understatement. Why is it in a flask? Comfort to me. All right, well, I'm cold too, so let's just get this done, please. All right. And action. Hey. Hey, man, what's up? Not much. Been real busy, though, lately. Musical season? You know it. Sweet. How's school going? Make any new friends? It, it's been good, uh, but Paul and I been not getting along too well lately. Why not? I don't know. I'm just not too good at keeping friends. Wanna go to the park? Yeah. So, how are you adjusting your college life? I think I'm adjusting fine. It's a bit different, but, you know. Tell me about it. So, why are you here for winter break? I mean, a month in a dorm with that kid must be pretty obnoxious. Kyle? Nah, he's all right. I mean, I had to dump out a supply of alcoholic mouthwash, which has had its unfortunate side effects. <laughs> but back at home, I live on my own, so I don't really have a reason to go back. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's not like I have much of a family to miss anyway. Well, there is someone I haven't talked to in a while. Girlfriend? No, no, just a friend. His name's Taryn. Uh, I met him through a production we did at the community theater and I played his older brother and I guess I came to think of him as my younger brother. He texted me but uh, I got distracted. I don't think I remember to call him back. <laughs> I, I do not think this film is going to work, Graham. No! No it's not! Well Christmas is just around the corner. You excited? Obviously. I love Christmas. I've seen about getting into film, like you. So I was hoping for a camera for my parents. Like me? Why like me? Because you're cool. <laughs> I'm not cool, but film is awesome. Then why didn't you go to film school? I just thought I'd be better off, you know, doing something different with my life. Do you think I should too? No, no, no. I totally believe that you should pursue your passion. Then why didn't you? All right, that's enough questions for today. Want some hot chocolate? Because I want some hot chocolate. So do you have any plans for Christmas? No, I'll probably just stick around the dorms. My parents don't really want me home anyway. Oh? Oh god, I did that thing with the uh, No, no, the... are you... Yeah, I'm fine. I don't really need a family to be happy. I'm cool sticking around the campus. Well, you could always hang out with me. I mean, I'll be here too, just because my family lives in town, so uh, you're always welcome. Thank you. That's really awesome.
So my professor really liked that film we shot last year. She's considering me for the Clearwater Institute documentary. Oh, well, that's awesome. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it's because my beautiful face was in it. Oh, is that so grand? It sure is, Chelsea. So where were you this summer? Well, I went back to my apartment. Why didn't you just stay here? Well, I, I just thought I should be closer to my family when I can, you know? But you don't like your family. <laughs> no, but I mean, they're my family. I, I, I was born with them. I can't change that. Graham, you know, your family doesn't have to be the ones you were born with. Then who? Who is it? Oh, it's middle school. I don't know what they would want. Graham. What happened? Got in a fight with the hall. You alright? <laughs> yeah. I kicked his ass. Watch it. Sorry. Why though? He hurt my feelings, so I hurt his face. I'm slightly proud of you. Why did you call me? What? Why did you call me instead of your mom? Because you don't understand. Of course not. I would have done the same thing. Alright, see you, bud. Goodbye. Hey, Graham? Yeah? Thank you. Anytime. Graham, hold on a second. Hi, Miss Pink. Where are you going? Why don't you stay for dinner? I wouldn't impose. Oh, I invited you, dummy. Does that seem like an imposition? <laughs> I guess not. Thank you. So, this was unexpected. <laughs> then you're an idiot. Excuse you. I have to go home. My dad made dinner tonight. You could come. To your house with your dad for dinner? Yes, you met him at Christmas. It's not that big of a thing. Graham, what are you going to school for? Um, film uh, and broadcast. Computer science. Hmm. What's wrong with that? It's not a terribly practical career choice, is it? That's the same degree I have. Yeah, but you're a woman. <laughs> what sort of jobs does that lead to? Oh, programming, some game, game development. <laughs> He'd be really good at it too, because he's really good at storytelling. Graham is really good at telling stories, Dad. This is a great career for him. Well, I'm really good at digging holes, but that doesn't mean I should be a ditch digger. <laughs> want more potatoes? I want more potatoes. Would you like some more potatoes? Oh, no, thank, thank you, Dad. That's very insightful of you. I wholeheartedly agree. So, uh, what are your political views, Graham? <laughs> Well, and in the creek don't rise, I'll have an internship after college. But he's definitely not a Republican. I only played one on TV. He's really good at it, too. And he's also really fond of capitalism and all. I'm just perpetually broke? Exactly. You know, Graham, I really appreciate the fact that you're willing to share your political views with me, even though I might disagree with them. What do you think the biggest problem facing our nation is today? Ignorance. Oh, Chrysler Cirrus I had. 
powerful little car. It got me through acres and acres of macaroni noodles on a necklace. If that's all you're going to be able to afford as a film filmmaker. But then he gave up. Want more potatoes? I want more potatoes. So I hear you don't get along very well with your parents. Oh, it's not a big thing, really. I don't like to make a huge deal out of it. That's a crack of shit. What? Nothing. Thank you for dinner. Oh, no problem. I'm so sorry about that. Don't be. You're fine. I had fun. I'm so glad you enjoyed yourself. Wow. This is awkward. I really feel like I should say something, but I don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, Graham's heading home. Time for you to go to bed. Actually, I think he's going back to his apartment. His apartment? He doesn't go to school here in town? He does. Well, doesn't he live with his family? I don't think so. He doesn't talk about them much. I didn't think he had a family. Everyone has a family, Karen. Sometimes you're just not born with it. Clearwater City, a homegrown metropolis that started as a small town and grew to the bustling metropolis we know today. But some of the old small town folk stories survived. It's a bit repetitive. We didn't get enough interviews in Clearwater last year. This Is film needs to be done in a month, metals? Graham. Then we go back and fix it. The school puts me in charge of their biggest film yet. And I go and I mess it up. Hey, no, you didn't mess it up. Look, we're going to town tomorrow and fill in the rest. I know a few conspiracy freaks who would love to do an interview. All right, all right, you're right. We can do this. I've been wanting to take you back to Clearwater for a while anyway. Why? Nothing good ever happens there. It's also the place of my birth and the majority of my childhood, but uh, you know, there was some fun stuff that happened there. Don't take your word for it. <laughs> The hell is this? It's Mountain Dew. I picked one hell of a time to quit drinking. I quit drinking like three years ago, remember? Yeah, right. This looks good. We'll put some dark color grading over it. It'll be perfect for the voiceover. Certainly. Graham, where... What are you doing? Well, what does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> I've been framing this shot for at least 10 minutes. How long have you been on one knee? Well, my right leg is numb, so? <laughs> Why here? Everything important in my life has happened in this town, and I thought this might as well happen here, too. So, Chelsea, will you? <laughs> one moment. Hello? This, this is Graham. Graham. What? Oh my god, when? When? Hold this. When did this happen? Oh, God. Oh, God. 
God, Grandma, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. <sighs> they didn't want anything to do with me anyway. I doubt I'll even be invited to the funeral. I'm sorry. It's a good thing we're in clear water, though. You know, you don't really need to be here. You should, uh, you go get some filming done. Shut up. I'm gonna be here for you. But I forgot my Sorry. Carter? Hey, Graham? So you got a haircut? I see you didn't. I haven't seen you in three years. What are you doing here? I thought I ought to come out. How are you holding up? You know how I felt about my parents. They asked me to do a speech. Do you think you can do it? Oh, without a doubt. There aren't many people here, are there? There aren't many people here, are there? Good evening. When I was asked to deliver this eulogy, I was a bit surprised. Um, my parents weren't your average parents. They were something special. See, there were a lot of things that they loved and a lot of things that they didn't. They loved their jobs, they loved their church, and they loved each other more than anything. They did not love sharing. And me? Well, I certainly fall under one of those two lists. When I was younger, I truly believed that there was good in everyone. And damn, I was wrong. And I'd like to thank Mommy and Daddy Dearest for teaching me that. Oh, Lord. Should, no. should we stop My him? father no, 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 no. taught me several lessons finish. like that. No. I want to see this. He taught me about the real world. And I can safely say that I had a firm understanding of what it was like to live in that real world before any of you. And that's mostly because... It's mostly because my father kicked me out when I was 16 because he loved me. And that certainly goes to show you which one of those lists I fall under, doesn't it? No. I really should be thanking my parents. taught me that the blood of the covenant truly is thicker than the water of the womb. Thank you. Hey, I know you need help filming this documentary, but I need some time. Um, I'm gonna go back and go. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I'll call Kyle and he can come down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. It's no problem. Yeah. No, no, no. Listen, um, I should probably get going, but it was really good to see you. Yeah. Sorry I wasn't under better circumstances. See ya. Are you alright, Brian? I'm always alright, Tim. Hey. What do you want to hang out? Yeah. I love that.
It's been days since the funeral. Are you sure you're okay? No, you know what? I'm not. I'm not okay. Chelsea, I'm a loser. I have nothing. I don't have a job. I don't have a home except for these dorms. I mean, my career aspirations are so incredibly stupid. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, Chelsea. And to top it all off, I I don't have a family. I've never had a family. And I've never known I've wanted one, but... Graham, you don't need to know where you're going. You just need to know that you'll be happy when you get there. Graham, will you let me be your family? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out today. It's good to take a break. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to show you something. Oh? So? What do you think? I think it's awesome. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without the camera. I knew you'd be good at this. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. I should probably head out, kid. Good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Good night, Graham. Hey, Graham, hold on a second. Hey, how are you holding up? I'm fine, really. I'm okay. You know, you don't have much of a family to go home to. It's fine, seriously. I've never had much of a family anyway. You know, Taryn thinks of you as his big brother. I know. Would, would you like to be? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you're welcome here whenever you want. You don't have to go to an apartment alone if you don't want to. I don't know what to say. Making big decisions, big choices, always seems hard at the time. We worry that whatever choice we make is going to define our happiness and have this profound impact on our lives. That if we make the wrong one, we'll somehow end up sad and alone. But we never really stop to think that maybe, just maybe, things will be okay no matter what we do. Then you have another choice. You can sit here and complain about making a huge mistake or being alone, or you can look around and make do with what you have. Because no matter what you decide, there will always be a family there for you in the end. Even if it's not the kind of family you expected. As for me, I'm glad I made the choice that I did. Whichever one it was. Because in the end, everything. <laughs> everything turned out.